What's going on, my Zodiac Legacies? My Cancer Legacies? I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna shuffle the deck. I'm gonna do three on your side, three on your significant other, whoever that is that you think of, okay? When I say that, first person that comes to mind. You may be with someone, but you love someone else. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I'm gonna pull a deck from the Angels and Ancestors card. So you have Star Ancestor, follow the voice of your soul. Okay, you guys see that? Okay, I'm gonna bust out the book because this is some new terminology for me as well. I was getting a lot of downloads on your guys' energy. I can find this star okay, this should be here ready heed the messages coming directly from your soul the star ancestors is a term for extraterrestrial light light beings this is crazy because I was just talking about embodying your like your light body okay who are dedicated to the healing and growth of the world. These incredible things are divine embodiments of love who bring wisdom from the higher realms. Often people feel a sense of connectedness when they look up into the night sky and see the stars. I believe that's because they're remembering their starry connection, their, their starry connections and those that are what are what this card represents. The star ancestor is reminding you that you have all otherworldly support and that your friends from the stars can help you if you're willing to be helped. They can support you in connecting with and following your soul's deepest calling. Not only were you born on purpose, you were born for a purpose. In other words, you have a deeper purpose to, to your human journey. You were born to be bright, to be a bright light in the world. And there are supporters out there in the universe sending waves of energy to guide you at this time. Information and inspiration that has been coming your way recently is not new information, but memories. Your feelings of being drawn in a particular direction are the awakening of an aspect of your soul. You are being drawn towards a road that will not only light you up, but you but also help you light up your corner of the world. Continue following the cosmic guidance that is coming your way. Wow, cancer, my cancer legacies. That is a powerful message from your star ancestor. Follow the voice of your soul, okay? You have a deeper, per you have a greater purpose in this world, which is crazy because I was just, um, just getting a lot of downloads on that. I'm also getting a sense of excitement from your energy, okay? I'm getting like butterflies in my stomach. There's something exciting going on in your guys' life, Cancer. What is going on? Let's find out. Okay, I'm also gonna be using the Muse Tarot deck, which is a new deck. Okay, I'm hearing it shuffle one more time. See what I mean? Excitement. Okay. Settle down, cards. Settle down. Okay, I'm gonna cut the deck. Guys, angels, give me 
Oh yeah, and I'm doing the next 48 hours. So spirit guides, angels, please give me the messages that I need to see for Cancer in the next 48 hours. Give me three cards for Cancer. Three cards for Cancer, please. The page of inspiration, guys. Two more cards for Cancer. We have two of voices. Okay, with a night of inspiration. Excitement, fireworks. See what I mean? Okay, spirit guides. Ooh. Okay, we have the Knight of Materials and the Six of Voices for your significant other. Okay, one more card, please. We have the Four of Materials. Three cards for the middle, please. Three cards for the middle. We have the Hierophant, Awakening. Yeah, this is on point with your Star Ancestry card. Is there another card here? No. Okay, one more card for the middle. Justice, the Wheel of Fortune, with three of emotions. Can you guys see the illustrations on this? Insane messages. Okay, like I said. Okay. Okay, my Cancer Legacies, you guys have a birth of inspiration of creative projects in mind, okay? You guys have been getting a lot of downloads, a lot of random thoughts of creative projects, of innovations that you guys have been putting into practice. You guys have the two of voices as well, okay? So it's like you're being pulled you're in this, you may be indecisive of some choices that you are making. Nonetheless, so it is some type of communication, okay? It's like you're, you have like the good and the bad angel on, on each side. You also have the page of inspiration with the night of inspiration. So you've been mastering your craft, okay? You've been mastering your craft from clouds of of colorful smoke of auras to fireworks in the universe you guys have been ascending okay that's your energy your significant other's energy on the other hand they have the four of materials with the knight of materials with the six of voices I'm really getting a sense of dance, okay? Your significant other may be involved with some type of dance. Some type of sensual movement. I'm also reading your significant other is very sexual. Here with the six of voices. I feel like your significant other cancer has you wrapped by their finger. Okay, they have you wrapped up in the tip of the finger. They got you locked up in their pocket. In the middle, we have the Hierophant, the Awakening, the Justice, and the Wheel.
the spread is insane, okay? With Awakening, you've all obviously, with your Star Ancestor card, your overall energy, it makes perfect sense. You've been getting the sense of Awakening, okay? A lot of your creative thoughts and projects are coming from the heart. That is because you are passionate about what you are doing, okay? You are passionate about what you are doing. You have a higher sense of education on that. You're mastering your craft. And it's like, I love it because you're not only using your gift, but you're using it for justice, for the better good of society. And as a result, because of your good karma, you're getting that karma right back at you tenfold with the Wheel of Fortune, okay? Your, your dancing, you're also a dancer, I'm hearing, or you love to dance when no one is watching, okay? You're dancing around the wheel of divine timing. Like, you have choreography set. You're dancing back and forth because you've been able to manipulate time for the greater purpose of society. Okay, you have the three of emotions. You have the capability of embodying other personas, other personalities, okay? You may be, uh, you may have, you may be bipolar, you may have personality, borderline personality disorder. You have a very calm energy around you, okay? There's a sense of excitement, but it's like contained, okay? Let me pull more cards for your significant other. I feel like you guys are within a really healthy relationship. Give me cards for the next 48 hours for cancer. have the six of or no the three of materials with the four of inspiration with the ten of voices the hanged muse and the five of inspiration okay with the three of materials you guys have been working as a team, okay? You guys have been spinning some type of creative project together. You guys love flowers, you guys love roses, but you're paving, you're weaving this path of inspiration, okay? It's, you're working with some type of trio, cancer or quad group, okay? Members of four. There's a sense, it's like your, it's like you know, each member of the group offers something, a voice that the other cannot. With the Ten of Voices, again, you guys have been metaphorically ascending, okay? You guys have been ascending, you've been hanging back also with the Hanged Muse. Deeper sense of enlightenment, okay? Your third eye chakra, your crown chakra. You guys have been literally moving mountains. You're a ray of sunshine. You're a ray of sunshine, okay? You're being magnetically pulled by the divine, is what I'm hearing, to some other portal. Other portal. See, portal. As I'm saying it.
you've been doing some inner self-reflection and you have this sense of lightness around you. That's why you've been like dancing around the Wheel of Fortune. You have a sense of lightness, okay? You love looking at mirrors. You love looking at yourself in the mirror, Cancer. It's like you walk by your mirror, the mirror and you're like, hey, like, I see you, you know? <laughs> All right, let's see. So this is more so in regard to your significant other. What is going on for you? We have the nine of voices. With the eight of materials. With the ace of inspiration. With the emperor. And the chariot. Okay, I got some type of feeling from the chariot, like thoughts and feelings, which is powerful for you guys. Um, you guys have the chariot and the emperor, okay? You're the emperor within the chariot, okay? You're being, you're being guided, you're dancing. You have people looking up to you as of right now, Cancer, okay? It's like you're doing, you, you have this sense of of emperor empress like uh energy okay when you walk into a room all eyes are on you cancer you definitely have the sun on your side okay you're you you have the capability cancer of spinning the sun with your creative thoughts and multitask here Okay, with the aid of materials, you're a multitasker, okay? Either you're a multitasker or you have people multitasking for you. With the nine of voices, I see you being on cloud nine, okay? I see you sleeping very well as well, Cancer. Sorry, I'm trying to get a read off of you and your significant other. But I'm not really getting that. I'm getting just creative, 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 creative projects, creative outlets. You having a ground spiritual awakening I'm, as I'm getting chills. Can you see that? Okay. What's going on in the next 48 hours? Six of materials. With the sun. I've been saying the sun this whole time. Okay, this is a mandala, okay? What you speak, what you think of creatively is you're like sowing the seeds to your crop to some type to a fruition of blossoming, okay? You're within your your root chakra, okay? You're within your root chakra down, like you're, you're being grounded, okay? With the six of materials, there's a sense of, of communication. I'm, I'm sorry, communication of, of pentacles, okay? We have the devil, the queen of materials, with the five of materials. Okay, this is that card of crying over spilled milk. With the five of voices. And the nine of inspiration. Okay, in the next 48 hours... Okay, I'm getting more so now a direct read. Um, you guys are definitely going on some type of path, some type of road trip, okay, to the Grand Canyon, to the desert, to Joshua Tree, if you're from California, if you're from another state, somewhere in the wilderness, okay, I'm getting mountains, rocks, okay, you're going on this path on in this desert, in the Sahara, whatever, you know, the high desert, some type of wilderness where 
you're seeking out some type of meditation, this is where your significant other as well. Okay, there's going to be some, you're going to be, you're going to be pulled in the next 48 hours, but some type of cave, okay, some type of beautiful arch, you're going to be walking in this path, there's going to be this beautiful arch with the queen of materials, I see, I see your significant other presenting themselves to you, like all up in your face, saying, yeah, and what, like they're sassy, okay? This is in regard because they have some toxic, toxic behavior, codependency, or obsessive thoughts of you, okay? It's like you're trying to go on this retreat to have some self-thought and they're following you along for the ride. materials with the five of emotions see this is the energy that I was feeling at the beginning of the reading a sense of excitement of the spinning of the wheel and divine timing it's coming from the heart from passion from the gut we also have the five of emotions. Your significant other You guys are kind of all over the map, okay? I feel like on your side, Cancer, in the next 48 hours, there's definitely going to be some type of celebration some graduation okay or it's like you're stepping into a new phase of your life this may be school you may be starting school some type of creative projects for sure okay i really love your energy you're spending on divine timing but i'm also seeing this being very emotional for you and your significant other you guys are mirroring each other as far as creative projects you guys are definitely happy I'm getting a sense of bipolarness. It's like you're happy, then you're sad. You're happy, then you're sad. You you definitely have had obsessive thoughts. You may be a drinker, okay? It's like you like to party. You like to have this ultra persona. Like I said, you like to embody other personas, Cancer. It's like you have a spurt of energy and then you kind of fall into this depressive cycle. I do see many offerings coming in, being offered. You have very strong facial features as well, Cancer. I'm getting a sense of dance, of freedom, okay, of like, what is that dance called? Like, Malenque, where you're just like, it's also like Hispanic. I'm getting you having Latin roots, okay? Latin roots and your significant other as well. I'm getting a sense of Zorro. Have you seen that movie Zorro? Um, I feel as if you and your significant other live in different parts of the world. Like you guys are trying to make this work from afar. The reason why I say that is because I was envisioning, I was seeing uh, a body of lake near some mountains, green forestry. And then on the other side, I was seeing a high desert, some type of desert hot climate. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and pull one more card from the ancestors and see what angels, see what messages angels have in store for you. We have the hunter. Yeah, track down your fears and your desires. Wow. That makes total sense now why I was feeling a, a range of emotions for you guys. Okay, I couldn't pinpoint. I couldn't pinpoint what the feeling was. Okay, I got, I got, you know, I got fears and desires. Let's see, what 
the hunter. You guys are in hunt mode. That's why you guys were in the forest, Cancer. Track down your fears. Track down your fears and desires. Track down all of your fearful thoughts and feelings. When you find them, you will find your desires too. That is why there's a puzzle to this. The Hunter card is based on my favorite Celtic or Celtic god, Sir Nunos. He is, the, he is the stag god of the wild and represents both the hunted and the hunter. That makes total sense. Similarly, the hunter helps you connect with an energy, helps you connect. That's why I was having trouble connect with your, not your reading, but the energy surrounding your reading is both fearful and fearless. Yes, I was getting a sense of excitement and depressive, a range of emotions. Your fears are the only things that are standing between you and what you desire at this time. So you have to come face to face with them as a hunter does with wild animals and go beyond them. Instead of being hunted down by your fears or other feelings that you have buried, become the hunter, okay? You are being given confidence and strength at this time. So you use your power to make a difference. You are not here to cower away or live in the shadows. You are here to realize your fullest potential. But this can only occur when you step up and do what needs to be done. When this card arises, there could be an opportunity to face an aspect of your past or bring closure to a situation that has been haunting you. If you are a man or identify as a male, this card represents your masculinity and an opportunity to know yourself more deeply. If you are a female or identify as female, this card represents your capacity to be strong and powerful and overcome limitations. Okay, that makes total sense on why that is, okay? Um, the reason why I was getting this push and pull uh, sensation was because when you're presented with your fears, Cancer, you kind of shy away, you go into the shadows, you go on this depressive cycle, okay? You hide, you isolate. And that is the difficulty between the relationship between you and your significant other. It's like, it's almost like they only like to be around you when you're that energetic, go lucky go get her okay because that's their overall energy all the time with that being said thank you guys that was a pretty interesting reading you guys are the hunter okay the hunter and the star guardian with that being said please go ahead comment like subscribe if you like my content don't forget to live out your best legacy.